Chew week, day four. Hi, we're here for day four of Chew Week. That means we're halfway there. We're halfway there! <laughs> okay, so what are we reviewing for day four? Let's see what we are reviewing for day four. Well, you can already see the title. I still need to announce it because this is my video and I do what I want. Today we will be reviewing Stoker's Black Wild Cherry out of the eight ounce bag, not the 16 ounce like the butternut was. All right, that's enough of this. So yes, Stoker's Black Wild Cherry today for day four, and uh, I'm excited about this one. So first, let's start, obviously, with the presentation. A lot of the Stoker's bags look similar. Obviously, this one's smaller, and uh, it just has Bobby Stoker on here, Black Wild Cherry in purple, and uh, that's really it. So it looks like the other ones, but it still looks nice. And then uh, on the bottom here, uh, leaf content domestic, no less than 3%, foreign, no more than 97%. Might as well all be foreign, right? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. Now let's uh, crack her open and take a whiff. Okay. Alrighty. This stuff just smells great. <clears throat> you can't really smell uh, an original chew in there. You really just smell the black wild cherry, which is really more of a raspberry thing. But it's just such a, it's just a beautiful smell. Speaking of that, um, I forgot to mention that this was sent to me by my friend Ray. He got this and he didn't care for it too much. He said he couldn't really taste the whole wild cherry thing, so he sent it to me. So uh, thank you, Ray. He's been providing me with a lot of stuff for these reviews lately, so special shout out to him. Thank him for that. Appreciate it, Ray. I'm getting the mail. I got the mail. <laughs> Some fell under the door. <laughs> oh. Fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck. I hit my foot on the corner of that. Oh, oh, that fucking killed. But yes, it smells very good. So, uh, let's cut to the chase and uh, throw in a cheek i'm telling you man this stokers is like the wettest fucking chew ever like this shit you pick it out and you can just see all the fucking moisture in it and everything like it really doesn't show on camera but this stuff is so wet it's ridiculous and uh it's cut pretty good it's cut kind of at random but the nice long strands and everything so let's uh throw her in here we go cheers Kinda took a bigger cheek than I probably should have on video, but fuck it, why not? Again, Stoker's is super fucking sticky on the fingers, ridiculous. So the flavor, I don't know Ray, I don't know how my friend Ray didn't get the whole black wild cherry thing. It's it's so um, it's so prevalent there, but then again, uh, he said it just tasted like an original chew. I don't know how he got that, but I guess I shouldn't talk because I don't quite get a black wild cherry thing out of this, believe it or not. What I get out of this is raspberries. This tastes to me like raspberry. Stoker's Raspberry Chew is what this should be called, because I don't taste the black wild cherry thing. I taste raspberry, which you're thinking, oh, you know, that's a good thing. I like raspberries even more than I like cherry. So this stuff to me is absolutely delicious. I love it. I love raspberries. Speaking of things that are delicious, you know, um, you know, once in a while I'll treat myself to a Baja Blast. Just once in a while. I've still been drinking primarily water with tea once in a while. But I got a couple bottles and just kind of treated myself and went back to water. And then the next day, I wake up and go down to the fridge and it turns out my grandmother, who lives with us, bought me a 12-pack of these. That doesn't help. And I know it's not her fault, you know what I mean? But still, it's like, because I can't not drink it, knowing my history of addiction to soda and caffeine. I can't not drink it, because I literally, literally can't. I mean, I technically could, but it's hard for me. So, you know, what do you do? I'm just blasting through it now. I'm <laughs> blasting. It's Baja Blast. I'm Baja Blasting through the Baja Blast. 
This is the stuff that kept me out of the good schools. But it wasn't her fault. She didn't know, so I said thank you. But, you know, from now on, I'm trying not to drink too much soda. So, you know, essentially, don't do it again. Is that dickish? I was, I was polite about it. Comparison, um... You know, stokers with dip and chew alike, they have their own way of doing things. Plus, uh, how many other Black Wild Cherry Chews do you know out there? Not many, if any. I don't think there are any. Um, so I can't compare this stuff at all. No way. Two for me isn't rough in the in the cheek. Um, some are a little bit more rough than others, but even if they are rough, you have to chew them a lot for it to start getting rough and sting a little bit. So, this stuff, mm -mm. Even though I've been chewing so much with all the fucking chew I have... And throughout the rest of the chew week, you'll see how just how much more I have. <coughs> but, you know, I've been chewing a good amount. And my teeth have been brown. But every time I brush... What the fuck was that? Every time I go to brush my teeth after chewing, I just spit. It's just like brown. Scrub my tongue. Fucking leaves brown all over the toothbrush. Ugh. Stuff like the texture and burn... And nicotine, I think on every list, every review of every chew I'm ever going to do, they're going to be the exact same. So I'm just going to say this, I'm going to keep it brief for this one. No nicotine. Don't feel anything. That's how chew is. Spit. Um, a lot of spit, obviously. You get a lot of spit with any chew, typically. But Stoker's chew is equivalent to Stoker's dip. But with chew, it carries a lot of spit. Way more spit than any other chew I've had ever. Tons of spit and extremely dark spit. Plenty. And last ability, man. Right when you open the bag and take a cheek out, you can see how fucking wet it is. And then you put it in and, and you get a ton of spit. This stuff lasts forever, man. I'm telling you. Even as someone who has a tendency to maybe chew it a little bit more than I should. A little bit too much. This stuff lasts for fucking ever. I mean, I'll have this cheek in through the whole recording and editing and, uh everything of this video it'll stay in there for a long time and aftertaste it's not a problem at all take it out and it just leaves that raspberry kind of thing going on for a while this this chew is not bitter doesn't taste raunchy or anything doesn't leave a raunchy aftertaste it just tastes like raspberries so that's what it tastes like when you take it out shout outs obviously again we're just doing the regulars this week so we have java mcdippin the bluegrass dipper dipping with scrubbles and full review and it's time for the rating of Stoker's Black Wild Cherry. This stuff is really, really good. I really enjoy it. Um, now, it's not necessarily my go-to chew, but I still really enjoy it, and it's still very good. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. If they sell it near you, definitely pick it up. You can order it online. You plan to make you know an online order on a Northerner or whatever, definitely get it. I recommend it. You have the Joey Led seal of approval for this chew. So I would definitely chew it again. That's been the review today. Please like this video, thumb it up if you like it. Follow me on Instagram, Joey Leds, Skype, Joey Leds, Facebook.com slash Joey Leds Dippin 94, and Twitter at Joey Leds Dippin. Follow me outside the tube. Why the tube? I don't know. Why did I call it the tube? Why did I call it the tube? You done broke it the tube. Anyways, thanks for watching. Obviously, I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll see ya then. Keep dipping and spitting, keep cracking and packing. Take care.